St. Louis County police are wearing mourning bands and flying flags at half staff in honor of a veteran Moline Acres police officer. Sergeant Herschel Turner died in the line of duty Saturday. He was hit and killed by a Bell Fountain neighbor's police officer's patrol car while conducting a traffic stop. The Moline Acres police chief says he was a dedicated officer and member of the community. He was a perfect attendance type officer. He loved his job. He did it well. Sergeant Turner leaves behind a wife and three daughters. Backstoppers is going to help the family with financial assistance. We're also learning more about the in incident that killed Sergeant Turner. Tonight, the Bellefountain Neighbors Police Chief shares what he knows so far about the investigation in an exclusive interview with our Christine Byers. I can't imagine. I can't imagine how the officer must feel that was involved in this accident. Uh, I've had had discussions with him and in his words, there are no words. I mean, he is a, at a loss. At about 12.30 a.m. Saturday, Moline Acres Police Sergeant Herschel Turner responded to the scene of a traffic stop. A Bell Fountain neighbor's officer heard the same call and also headed to the scene. While on his way, that officer saw a silver sedan driving out of control and sped up. The officer tried to identify the vehicle by like getting a license plate, but wasn't able to do so. Bell Fountain neighbor's police chief Jeremy Eiler says his officer saw the sedan crash into the scene of the traffic stop just beyond a crest in the road. He had a decision to maneuver left or right uh, around the uh, around the accident. Chief Eiler says his officer saw Sergeant Herschel Turner standing to the left of the wrecked police cars. So he swerved right toward a grassy area to avoid him. But Chief Eiler says Sergeant Turner ran the same way. And unfortunately, the police car did strike Sergeant uh, Turner. And after um, he was struck, uh, the officer driving the police car got out, uh, tried to render aid to him, and uh, held them until the, uh, the ambulance arrived. Eiler said because of Turner's injuries, his officer didn't recognize him as the sergeant who always worked the same shift with him and as someone he considered a friend. Then he saw Sergeant Turner's picture on TV announcing he had died Sunday, leaving a wife and three daughters behind. The officer who struck him is now on mental health leave. When he is trying to process what has happened, I know for a fact that he had told me that he became a police officer to help people, not to hurt people. And, and at the end of the day, um, he believes he is mentally broken right now because of it. Chief Eiler said there are still questions that need to be answered in this investigation, such as how fast was his officer driving at the time? Was there any body camera footage available? And were any internal policies violated? He said he'll be turning to the investigations of the Missouri Highway Patrol and the St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office for the answers. Christine Byers, five on your side. Chief Eiler says the car that crashed into the patrol cars, that was stolen from Vanita Park. Police found a gun, but the people who were inside are still on the loose. You can watch the extended clips from Christine's full interview with Chief Eiler right now on KSDK.com.